Milonga. Alright, welcome back. Please start. Alright, first call. And this hurdle's gonna be getting out of here. This thing's gonna come from the battery. See a lot has changed by going. <laughs> Which is a bit of a late intro this one, but I've spent most of the day getting everything ready to make the sliding gate. So I thought I'd add a bit of a video on what I did and how I figured it out. So this is it. See you in a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> I only have gold rollers. So these are our rollers, and then this is going to be the support part. And then these bits here are the cracks. The gate rolls into the cracks. It doesn't roll up. See you later. Bye. All right, so she got a bit late last night. But this is what I come up with this morning. So I just grabbed a pole that I had laying out the back, bent up that bracket, added that support, and then that just screws to the top of this post. Got this little roller thing from Bunnings. So I still need to adjust that and tighten it up. Put a 90 in it, and it's simply gonna go down and then Dynabolt into the concrete. So for the top part, because what I was explaining at Bunnings is we're gonna have to cut the top bits off if we wanna run it like this. But, so I've thought, putting this pole in and then later on welding another piece that comes out like that utilizing one of these rollers and then a piece of uni strut from there all the way to there we could just have it hold that and then nothing will be on the top and they get the fence will look normal that's the plan but for now it's just going to be like this until I get a long length of uni strut and then we'll swap it over all the tracks down I did that last night but it got pretty dark I made this little catch here so that way if the gate's shut in this position, it's not just floppy at the front here. So it has that bit of support. If a big gust of wind comes, it's not relying on those rollers there to hold it up. Now let me introduce you to my motor. So this one's from Viva. I've done a lot with these guys in the past. They've always been good to me. And then I seen this on their website. So what a beauty. This is a 240 volt gate motor. 
these are well priced. They come with all the bits you need to connect it. So if you've already got a roller gate, which I didn't and I had to make it, these would pretty much just bolt on. And for under, I think it was about 300 bucks, it comes with like eight remotes, comes with like a little keypad, comes with infrared, magnetic stops. Like it comes with everything. And a lot of the other ones I was looking at, you're looking at like over a thousand bucks. First problem I had was the motor wasn't high enough and I didn't even think about it. I should have got the recess rollers, but I didn't. So I've had to make these little bits up here, raise the motor up that some amount. So that way these are sitting properly like that. So I'm gonna put the mount the motor and then I gotta go along and mount all these, make sure it's not binding anywhere. And then I'm just simply just gonna plug the blue eddy in until I dig a trench. And then we'll have an electric gate. Shit yeah. Sorry about the start of the video. I was really slack yesterday. Didn't feel like talking to the camera. But I just wanted to get shit done. So if you didn't know what the hell was going on, I had the two like normal gates. So all I've done is taken them off. I've welded this big beam together and I welded the old gates on top of that. So that way I have a sliding gate. So gates up, motors mounted, all the rails are mounted. Goes to the little cog and then we have these little magnets to tell it when it stops. There's another one down there. Go just put that down. And then it comes with six remotes. And then they just simply open and shut the gate. How good is that? I don't have to get out and shut the gate anymore. So as I was saying, that top piece, we're going to put a bit of Unistrut here and then use those rollers here to mount off that. That's all mounted and solid, but that works. I need to fill in this gap here because the, like I said before, I used the two original gates and just welded them to the beam. So we got a bit of a gap there, so that's going to be sorted. Now it's been a couple of hours since um, I did the last bit of video, so tins have been heavy on me currently got a extension lead running to the shed so next weekend i'm going to be digging a trench with the digger all the way to the shed and then it'll be direct power but that is just for now gone full safety on it electrical tape electrical tape solves everything but how good is that don't have to get out open the gate don't have to come down in the middle of the night and shut the gate because i forgot and like i was saying these motors are well priced every other one i priced up was like over a thousand bucks these things were like under 300 from memory Honestly, the slab, the footing for the gate was probably the most expensive. So I've just made up this rail. Holds that bit of timber, but like I said, there's going to be a unit strike going in, so it doesn't matter. And there is something else that I've made this gate do, which is bloody brilliant. So something great about this gate, it's got a Wi-Fi module in it, so it's paired up to the Wi-Fi. And from there, I can pair it to Alexa which is brilliant but the only thing i don't like about it is you can't tell it just to open the gate you got to tell her to turn the gate on alexa turn the gate on okay. she will go and automatically open the gate so not only you can you pair it to alexa you can also just use an app on your phone so in the box there is a qr code which pretty much takes you to a downloadable app from the app store and then you can toggle it on and off by there or if not it does come with six remotes. So pair it to the remote and then have a remote for the car. So I've got a remote for the wife. Uh, I'm more than happy to use my phone to toggle it on and off. And there's also a keypad that comes in the box. I haven't worked out how to use it yet, but it seems like a great idea if you've got someone coming over and you're not home, you could just tell them the code, they can get in the gate. Because the main thing I was worried about is the gates open, the kids play on the really overgrown dirt jumps at the moment. Anyone can just race in. So now that gate's shut, they've got to stop. So they can just play around, the gate's always shut. And the gate can't really be opened just by trying to push it either, 
which is another bonus. So if you're wondering where I got the gate remote from, that was from viva.com. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to grab one for yourself. Like I said, they're really roll price. They come with a ton of remotes and with the keypad and infrared sensors and everything like that. I haven't worked out how to actually use them yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out one day. So that's it for this video, boys. Hope you enjoyed it. Got an electric gate at the house now. It's bloody, it's gonna be amazing. I'm getting sick of opening the gate, but cheers. Y'all have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. You see a lot has changed. My, we're going. Good week, Madison. Let's get back to the show.